Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the Blu-ray and 4K Steelbook edition of Zombieland Double Tap. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Guard podcast. I'll put a link to that in the description. All right, Zombieland Double Tap is officially here on Blu-ray and 4K, and it has been given a Steelbook edition, which is, you can see right over there, and there's also a standard Blu-ray slipcover, as well as a 4K slipcover edition at your local retailers. All right, so... We're going to break this down. We're going to talk about the picture quality, the audio of both the Blu-ray and the 4K disc. Chapter times are going to be right over there, as you can see. And we'll do all that in just a few moments. But first, let's do a quick unboxing. All right, we have the Zombieland Double Tap uh, Steelbook right here. I really like the design. It actually complements the original very nicely. Uh, it's going to look really good on your shelf. So uh, as far as the rest of the Steelbook goes... Uh, the rear cover, I'm not crazy about the cover. I understand why they did it. It's, it's part of the plot of the movie, but uh, the rear part, I'm not a big fan of. But uh, also, we have the spine, and then the interior here. Just some nice artwork for the Blu-ray and the 4K disc right there. And then just the artwork behind here looks really nice. So, yeah, overall, looks good. I like the steelbook. That it matches the first one. All right, let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. The HD Blu-ray uh, picture quality for Zombieland Double Tap looks exceptionally clean here. It was shot digitally, so there are no in real instances of film grain, so it's a very overall clean looking image for those that enjoy that sort of aspect. Uh, I think everything looked pretty much fantastic. It looked uh, noticeably better than when it was shot 10 years ago. Of course, advances in technology, camera, and all that it plays a big part in it. But I think this is probably one of the cleanest looking discs I've seen in a while, at least from Sony. It is, even, even the, the trailers at the beginning looked really good here. It's just a very pleasing Blu-ray presentation. No, no real issues to speak of. Uh, black levels can get a little elevated at, at certain moments, especially around the climax and any kind of, you know, dark interior scenes or black nighttime scenes. But, you know, that's kind of be expected. But I think for the most part, I didn't really have any issues in that respect. I think color levels look good. There's a fair amount of, you know, from everything from costuming and, and uh, just the ambient lighting effects all look good. A uh, fair amount of good detail as well, you know, from the zombie effects in particular look really, really nice. Uh, overall, I'm very impressed with the Blu-ray image. I think if you are a Blu-ray lover, you're definitely going to have a lot to enjoy with this picture. I think it's very pleasing and it, it just complements the overall experience uh, of your personal home theater. All right, let's talk about the audio quality. I really hate to say it, but I'm actually very disappointed in Sony and as far as the Blu-ray effort goes. We are given, for some unknown reason, a 5.1 on the Blu-ray. I don't get that that logic, honestly. Uh, maybe it's because they're utilizing the DTSX over on the um, the 4K side, but they did not deem it worthy to port it over here onto the Blu-ray. So you're given a DTS 5.1. I really don't know what to say about this. It's it, This is an ultimately disappointing decision. Why would you kind of shortchange your Blu-ray crew? I mean, that's just, you know, that that's a mind-boggling thing. Not even a 7.1. A 7.1, I can, you know, get behind. I can, I can champion that. But a standard 5.1 for this movie in particular, I really don't understand. But... Let me just talk about what we get with that 5.1. It's fairly full, robust track. Um, it's definitely missing those extra, you know, ch uh, channel uh, aspects. But for the most part, it has what it needs. Uh, there's some good ambience going on through the surround sound effects. Uh, with, with your rears, also your front channels, they all sound really good. Your LFE kicks in on mint uh, numerous times, nothing shortchanged in that department. And just your center channel, dialogue comes through clean, easy to understand, no problems whatsoever. But you know, it's, it's boggling that they went with a 5.1 here. I don't understand that reason, the logic. Uh, it's, just, it's just an odd decision. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about the 4K picture quality and the audio. The 4K picture quality for Zombieland to double tap is pretty breathtaking, honestly. It's a, there's a lot going on there. Uh, the movie was shot digitally, so we got a lot of that clean look. There's no film grain in that respect. So, and also in the addition with the HDR, it's a beautiful looking picture overall. I really feel it's a very nice, it utilizes those aspects nicely. Um, as I mentioned, it is a very clean looking picture. Nighttime scenes are appropriately dark. Appropriately dark. Uh, black levels are pretty exceptional for the most part. Uh, level detail, I think, is one of the best benef uh, particular aspects of this particular release. It looks good. Uh, detail on the zombies, the 
costuming, uh, the locations. There's a lot to enjoy here. It really kind of gets up into that nitty gritty, fine tooth comb detail. It looks really nice. And also the color aspect is very well done. It's rendered uh, very nicely. Uh, the climax scenes of the nighttime at the little compound, you know, with the, the various lighting effects and what people are wearing. It really looks really, it's a very good looking use of that color uh, contrasting to the nighttime scenes. Now I have to say, I wanna, I did my review of the 4K digital and that was rendered in Dolby Vision. I have to admit, I think I prefer the more overall color palette of the Dolby Vision digital a little bit more here. What we get with HDR looks pretty, pretty nice. It is very nice looking picture, but I think just that extra added Dolby Vision on the digital just kind of wins out by a margin. But we still get a very gorgeous looking picture overall. No complaints in that department. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful overall image. Uh, nighttime levels, black. Uh, detail, color, you get it all here. It's all here. It's really uh, overall pr pleasing image. So let's jump right into the audio. Now apparently Sony has decided to switch off from Dolby Atmos as an audio source and go directly to DTS-X. Uh, not what I would have chosen. I actually prefer more of the Atmos uh, ambience and overall directional you know, environment that we are given over on the digital. I think that directionally sounds better, but I think what we get here as far as not having to deal with compression issues that we would get from a streaming platform, uh, we get a very overall robust track. So I feel that what we get is a little bit of a trade-off. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul situation. Uh, well, we get the, uh, you know, what we get here is DTSX. It is robust. Uh, so there is a lot going on here. Surround sounds sound very active. Uh, the rears kick in at appropriate levels. Um, also the height speakers uh, utilize that a little bit as well. I don't feel as good as an Atmos setup would, but um, yeah, so for the most part, it's a very good track. Center channel sounds great. No problems, easy to understand dialogue, and the fronts are very action heavy, and there's a lot of good good oomph to the overall experience. It is a good audio mix. Uh, once again, it's a shame that the Blu-ray got shortchanged on that aspect. It's kind of still boggling my mind a little bit talking about it. But yeah, uh, overall, the DTSX is very serviceable. Uh, as I said, I kind of prefer the uh, just the more atmospheric Atmos track. <laughs> As a, as a play on words, but it's a very, you know, what we get here, it's good. Um, you just got to kind of wonder what Sony's uh, deal is in that aspect, but I think it is, for what you're expecting, very good in that regard. Um, yeah, really good audio mix. So, all right, let's talk about my final scores on Zombieland Double Tap. All right, so for the Blu-ray, I'm going to give the picture quality on that one a B plus. I think it's a very clean looking image, no problems really to speak of, shot digitally, so it has that really good crisp look to it. Uh, overall, very pleased with how the Blu-ray looks. Audio-wise, unfortunately, uh, we got there was a big short change on that regard. So I'm going to go ahead and give what we get a C plus. I still don't understand why at the very least a 7.1 or 7.2 was not included on that. It's just, uh, I'm really at a loss uh, why Sony made that particular decision. 4K quality wise, I'm gonna give the picture quality an A minus. Now that's gonna be equal to the score I gave over on the digital platform, utilizing Dolby Vision and, uh, in that respect. But I think that the overall, you know, with the lack of compression, I think it really kind of just, it, it evens itself out. So I, I would say overall it deserves an A minus uh, equal to the digital uh, platform for different reasons. Uh, audio wise, I'm gonna give it a B plus. I think that the, I prefer the overall Atmos experience uh, as opposed to DTS, but the DTS X is serviceable. There's once again, no compression issues as you would get over on the digital platform. So it's a fuller, more robust, uh, uh, you know, overall surround mix. But I think the sound stage is slightly weakened in this respect. But overall, I, it is a good, you know, what for what we get as DTS X, it's a good sounding audio mix. So that is going to be my review of Zombieland Double Tap on Blu-ray 4K. Let me know in the comments below if you picked it up and which version did you get. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.